The presentation in EA Sports UFC 5 elevates the series to a more authentic experience. Powered by the Frostbite engine, players will see, hear, and feel why UFC 5 is as real as it gets. Welcome to the deep dive into the presentation of EA Sports UFC 5. Let's take a look at the features that creates UFC 5's new presentation, including the Frostbite engine, visual effects, new in-game cinematics, advanced fighter likeness, cinematic KO replays, and authentic finishes. My name is Ama Boxer, a part of the design council for UFC 5 and an EA Sports UFC content creator. I was able to interview EA's art director of UFC 5, Kirk Gibbons, to explain the new presentation and how it will impact the user experience. I would say the first thing you're gonna see that's gonna be impactful and players are gonna feel is our walkout. Uh, we have new dynamic lighting with Frostbite Engine. And just the whole presentation, lighting and rendering and new player and our update of players is just amazing. We were, during production, we were comparing real life UFC presentation with our game and it was hard to tell the difference. So I think that's something that fans um, are gonna love of the game. Once you get in, I think again, you're gonna see the players, uh, the fighters looking amazing with all of our new lighting and rendering technology and our strand based hair. And then once you get into the fight and see all the impact with damage, uh, I just think it's gonna be incredible and all that stuff we couldn't, we couldn't have done before. With hands-on experience with the game, once you get deep into the fight and both fighters are damaged, you feel that real impact system as a whole, that's when you experience the next level of immersion. Yeah, I mean, I love how you said as a whole, because again, all the team work together from audio team, lighting and rendering, art team, presentation and camera team. Uh, we all work together to try to create really powerful game experiences uh, for UFC. Frostbite introduces a new fluid physics and particle system. How will this enhance the user's gameplay experience? So with Frostbite, we get our new particle system. It's called the Mitograph. And that'll, that's a GPU, GPU VFX system, allowing us to render individual particles of blood and sweat. What's really neat too is that the blood will land onto the mat and you're actually gonna see the build, the, the blood build up over time. So we couldn't, again, couldn't have done that previously. And you're gonna see just, just beautiful um, uh, particles with blood and sweat across the game. And it's all dynamic and builds up uh, during the game based on your damage or, or uh, how much you've been sweating, how long the fight goes. I found it impressive that the mat captured the blood and the sweat from the fighters at the location where the damage actually occurred. So by the end of the fight, you can have a completely different mat from when you started telling a story about what happened during that fight and it adds to that gameplay experience. Yeah, that boxer, that's so awesome to hear that, that you felt that way because that was actually our intent. And we actually talked about the story of the map, you know, like um, based on actually show, you know, making you feel like there was fights previous to the fight that you're in. And then again, the damage that occurs during the fight, it builds up both on the player, uh, but also on the map. And there is a story there and that also gets backed up by our commentary and, and audio as well. So it's really a holistic, again, a holistic experience that is you know very powerful. And it's, uh, I think it's gonna make us as developers feel really good that you felt that when you played. Okay, players always talk about the importance of making strikes feel more realistic and impactful when they land. How does the Frostbite engine in UFC 5 help address this concern? So again, this is a really a holistic approach from the team. We all work together to try to make impact as powerful as possible for our players. So the first thing is animation. Uh, with animation, we worked all of our striking animations, as well as within Frostbite, we have our physics and procedural animation, which just in animation itself makes it feel more powerful. But then we also reworked our, our facial deformation system, uh, which again, makes it feel better when you impact uh, another another player, another fighter. 
Um, also, again, we talked about our visual effects, so you get that upon impact. Uh, and then our audio, which uh, we added uh, new audio with you know, more quenching effects and that sort of thing to really make the whole system um, more powerful and impactful. And I think when you play, uh, you really, really feel it again with, with uh, all of our blood and particles all summing up into just a great, powerful experience for impact. In UFC 4, we had some great character models, but in UFC 5, it takes it to a completely new level. How has the Frostbite engine improved fighter likeness in UFC 5? Yeah, so that that is something we put a huge amount of effort into. Again, obviously the fighters of UFC are the center of the game, and we made some amazing improvements. Like if you were to com compare UFC 4 models to UFC 5 models, it's strikingly um, improved and better. So one of the big things that we did is brought in uh, a new strand-based hair system. And uh, what you'll see in terms of the player movement is how the how the uh, hair is lit so much more realistic and moves so much more realistic uh, while you're playing. And it made a huge, huge difference. Also, if you look at the lighting and rendering, we also have something called the dual lobe shader that affects uh, skin and how sweat and blood rolls across the skin. We put a huge amount of effort into the skin of the fighters um, to make it feel more realistic uh, and believable. Um, finally, less about frostbite, but more again about the attention and care that our art team put into these fighters is we rework the geometry and the texture uh, detail with, with every fighter. So um, all those things sum up to be really, really powerful. The last point that we did that again makes our fighter likeness stronger than than UFC 4 and previous uh, UFC games is we have a technology called Shapeshifter, which allows us to modify the bodies to again, try to be uh, closer to, to the real likeness of a fighter. So all together, um, just a really, really great work by our character team to create amazing likenesses for UFC 5. And uh, I hope our players are, are gonna love it. I think they will. When we talk about new in-game cinematics for UFC 5, can you highlight some of the notable improvements since UFC 4? With the walkouts, you're actually going to see three new things that make our walkouts more authentic than ever in UFC 5. So the first thing is our face rig system. So we have a new facial animation system that allows us to have more detail uh, and subtle human animation, which you'll see throughout the walkout. The second thing is frostbite cameras. So we are using frostbite cameras. It has a more realistic camera lens and along with uh, new cameras themselves and new editing, putting that all together into a, a really powerful experience. The third thing that I think, again, you're gonna see is the dynamic lighting and all the lighting and rendering uh, throughout the walkout. So again, that goes back to the player likeness and the skin and how light moves across the skin and finally, I guess the whole choreography of the whole experience with the dynamic lights, so we're turning lights and off and on, and all true to the authentic experience of the UFC walkout. Uh, I, I love them, I'm super proud of, of what we accomplished for those walkouts for UFC 5. The new cinematic replay system in UFC 5 really stands out. I know the content creators are going to enjoy making some amazing thumbnails from the replay system. Can you talk about what has improved about the cinematic replay system since UFC 4? Yeah, so I have to say I I love our cinematic knockout replays. Um, I think it turned out to be kind of the perfect blend between cinematic cameras and, and procedural dynamic cameras. So, um, with we couldn't have done it without frostbite so we're using dynamic frostbite cameras that will dynamically compose depending on the action furthermore uh what that we have in ufc 5 that we didn't have in ufc 4 is we actually have knowledge of the action in the replay so we know whether it's a right fist or a left fist whether it's a right kick or a left kick and we know where it hits and due to that we're able to place the cameras to be the most compelling and the most dramatic. Uh, add to that 
we put a lot of work into our slow motion replay in terms of getting our strikes and animation to work smoother through slow motion, as well as all of our simulation, which is hair and clothing, we, we updated that. And then finally, again, our blood and, and sweat particles, along with a few kind of really cool uh, custom uh, blood particles just for that next gen knockout uh, replay moment. Another feature new to the presentation in UFC 5 are authentic finishes. Can you talk about some of the ways a fight can end differently in UFC 5 than it could in UFC 4? So one of the ways I think is like super exciting, uh, emotionally compelling is doctor stoppages. So again, that ties into our damage system. Um, in the art, we actually have eight uh, regions for cuts, swelling, and bruising and we have five levels of progression for that. Uh, I think one of our rendering engineers came up with the math and we have about 64,000 possible combinations that you could, you could run into. So as you are damaging your opponent, at some point, the damage level will get to a place where the doctor will come in and stop the fight and check you out. And in that presentation, again, new because of Frostbite in UFC 5, is we have some dynamic camera presentation we have six areas that we can focus the camera on for the, the damage and there you're going to see really good views of the cuts and the blood and the bruising and the swelling. Uh, and then again, the game will analyze how much um, damage you have taken and then the doctor will decide, hey, let's continue the fight or we'll stop the fight. Doctor stoppages are more than presentation. They are now a part of the strategy. You can be behind in a fight, but your opponent could be severely damaged in a specific area which you can target. So even when behind, you still can create a direct path to victory. Yeah, and I mean, it looks great, but I think what's also cool is, like you kind of alluded to, is there's a new level of strategy that we didn't used to have from the gameplay perspective. So again, visuals and gameplay working together to create a, a new powerful experience for our players. With all of the presentation and animation updates, along with the new audio effects, rendering, and lighting, also with Frostbite elevating the overall gameplay experience, I'm more than excited for the release of UFC 5. See you in the Octagon.